the hollow cylindrical box of length 1 meter and area of cross section 25 cm square is placed in a three dimensional coordinate system as shown in the figure the electric field in the region is given by the vector e is equal to 50 x i cap where e is in newton per coulomb and x is in meters find the net flux through the cylinder charge enclosed by the cylinder okay so here here in this question we are supposed to calculate the net flux through the cylinder so the cylinder has three surfaces this is your first surface first plane surface and this is your second plane surface and third one this is your curved surface and here in this question you can see that the electric field is a variable electric field so the value of electric field changes with respect to the value of x so the value of electric field is not constant along the x direction so now we will calculate the electric flux through each surfaces that is first surface second surface and the third surface and we will be adding all the fluxes together so let us calculate the electric flux through the third surface first so you can see that electric field is in the x direction so the value of direction of electric field is in the x direction and look at your area vector what is the direction of your area vector you can see that area vector is in the Uh, y direction i i mean normal to the curved surface surface so the value of angle theta will be 90 degree over here theta is 90 degree so you will not have any electric flux on the third surface so the flux due to the third surface is zero now let us calculate the electric flux on the first surface so phi 1 will be equal to e into area vector into cos theta will come so over here we need to find the value of electric field and we need to find the value of area vector so here you can see that the angle between electric field and area vector we need to find out so here you can see that electric field is in the x direction like this and your area vector is in this perpendicular to the surface so this is the direction of your area vector so you can see that electric field and area vector is making an angle of 180 degree so your flux will be ea into cos 180 will come that is nothing but minus e into a now let us find the value of electric field on the first surface so you can see the electric field value is 50 into x the value of x is 1 meter so 50 into 1 so we'll be getting 50 newton per coulomb let us substitute in the value of flux over here so minus 50 into area is given area cross section is 25 cm square so we can convert it into meter so 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 will come so this is the value of flux 50 into 25 once you do this you will be getting one minus 1250 newton meter square per coulomb so this is the value of electric flux on the first surface now let us calculate the electric flux on the second surface so phi 2 will be equal to ea cos we need to find the value of theta so here you can see that electric field is normal to the surface in this direction and your area vector is also in the same direction so you can see that electric field and area vector is parallel to each other so you will be getting the value of electric electric field and area vector are in the same direction so theta will be zero So our value of flux will be E A cos zero. So you'll be getting E into A. Now let us find the value of electric field on the second surface. So electric field is fifty into the value of x. How much the value of x over here? So this is one meter up to the first surface, and the length of the cylinder is one meter. It's already mentioned in the question. So you can see one plus one two. So you'll be getting fifty into two. So hundred newton per coulomb will be the value of electric field on the second surface so let us calculate the value of flux flux will be e into a so 100 into area is nothing but 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 so once you calculate this you will be getting 2500 into 10 to the power minus 4 newton meter square coulomb raised to minus 4 so we got the value of 51 52 and 53 so let us add all the fluxes together because flux is a scalar quantity total flux will be 51 plus 52 plus 53 so we will add this flux on all the three surfaces 
minus 2500 into 10 to the power minus 4 minus 1250 into 10 to the power minus 4 because the flux on the first surface is negative. So once you do this calculation, you will be getting 1.250 into 10 to the power minus 1. Note and meter square Coulomb raised to minus. This is the net flux. Hope this part is clear to all of you. Now the second part of the question, you need to find the charge enclosed by the cylinder. So we are going to calculate the total charge enclosed within the cylinder. And you know the formula for flux, phi is equal to Q divided by epsilon naught. From this expression you can calculate the charges, Q is equal to phi into epsilon zero. So here is a Gauss's equation. According to Gauss's law, we know that uh, total flux is equal to total amount of charge enclosed within a surface divided by epsilon naught. So we have written Q is equal to phi into epsilon naught. Q is equal to the net flux we have calculated that is 1.250 into 10 to the power minus 1 into the value per meter cube is 8.84 into 10 to the power minus 12. So once you do this calculation, you will be getting the final answer as 11067.5. And to the power minus 16 point. So, this is the final answer. Like a cooler.